Hi, you guys. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Mari Suggs, author and motivation hacker. Welcome back to my channel. I have a very special video for you today as I've collaborated with fellow author and YouTuber Bethany Altisada. Bethany just released her debut novel, Evelyn's Number, to five-star reviews on Amazon, so be sure to check out her book there. Bethany and I got together to bring you a very special video. We wanted to share with you the top lessons we learned from our debut novels regarding writing and publishing. I have self-published three books, so and I have learned very valuable lessons through each stage of each of the books. Now, after you're done watching my part of the collab, make sure you head on over to Bethany's channel to watch her answers that I can't wait to see also. I will obviously leave the link below for you guys to go check it out. So let's get to it. The very first thing in the writing and publishing is writing the first draft. The top lesson that I've learned about writing the first draft is that the first draft is written for me. And I don't need to worry about anyone else or anything else. Just write it, get the thoughts out of my head and onto the page. So the next thing I've learned about the writing and publishing process is about beta readers. I have to say that I did not use beta readers for any of my books and mostly because I didn't know anything about them, but I do now, so I intend on using them. The benefit of using a beta reader is that they will see things that you perhaps miss because you know the story so well, you may have it in your head, but because they don't know anything about the story, they're gonna see things that, that you perhaps have missed or that you um, that doesn't make any sense. So I definitely will use beta readers. The next thing I've learned in the writing and publishing of my first books is the self edits. I've learned that there are different stages to editing. One time, go through your novel looking for consistency, plot holes, and things like that, and then go back and then reread it with looking for grammar and punctuation problems. Don't try to do it all at once. The next thing I've learned is about professional editing. With my debut novel, More Than Words Can Say, I have to admit that I did make a lot of mistakes. I did not use a lot of self-edits, I did not use professional editor, and I did not use beta readers as mentioned below. So when it comes to professional editing, the number one thing I've learned is that, well actually I've learned two things, so I'll share them with you. The first thing I learned is that you have to get a professional editor to go through your book. That's it, you have to get one. But the second thing I've learned is that you need to find, I recommend that you find someone that's recommended to you. Don't just go, I, for falling for you, for my second novel, I did go online and find a, and found a company and then got my novel edited, but I got this close to getting representation from an agent and she did make some notes about the editor. The next thing I learned is about cover design. When it comes to cover design, the number one thing I've learned is that you need to know what you want. Have a clear image of what you want. Maybe you can collect um, images and collect fonts and just collect a feel of emotions that you, that you feel for your book so that you can convey this to the designer. And the designer, if you don't know what you want, the designer's not gonna know what you want, and then they're not gonna deliver what you have in your mind. So make sure that you get it off your mind and onto the page, onto the des designer, so that they can give you exactly what you want. The next thing I've learned is about marketing. It's not enough to just write a book and publish it. And what I mean by that is that you have to build a platform from which to stand. So make sure that if you're writing a book, maybe now is the time to start building that platform, start communicating with people, like-minded people. People, if you're writing a, a dystopian novel, make sure that maybe you start communicating with people who like to read that kind of genre, let them know what you're doing and see how it goes because writing and publishing is not enough. You have to market. The next thing I've learned is about publishing. Self-publishing is not as bad as what it used to be. Self-publishing used to be looked frowned upon. People used to be like, oh, you're self-published. I'm traditionally published. It's not the case anymore. There are a lot of people who are who used to be traditionally published that are now self-published and it's well-respected and they're making tons of money and everything is good. So I've learned to switch my mind about you know, being traditionally published and self-published. 
The next lesson I learned has to do with agents. Like I said before, I got this close to getting representation and I didn't and that's fine because I know that I will try again. So even if you get a hundred no's, that means you're just one no closer to a yes. So that is probably my biggest lesson, not to give up, not to just get all these no's and think, oh, I'm never gonna get representation. That is not true, so keep on trying. And the last thing, Bethany and I decided that we would leave it open-ended. And the final lesson, the overall lesson that I've learned through this entire process of writing and publishing my books is to really be present. This is a very special time for me, for you, when we're in writing a book, right? So make sure that you're living it, you're there, present, fully loving what you're doing and not worrying about the cover design, the publishing contract, the agents, don't, don't even worry about the query or the synopsis or the proposal. Just worry about the book. Love where you're at. Love in that moment because all those steps will come afterwards and then you'll be in that moment. So that is my overall lesson that I've learned is to be fully present in the moment when I'm writing my book. So that's it, you guys. Those are the lessons I've learned from writing and publishing all my books. Now it's your turn. Leave me a comment below with the lessons that you learned because I want to learn even more from you. And don't forget to swing over to Bethany's channel. The link is below because I can't wait to see what she has said of all the lessons that she's learned throughout this writing and publishing process. And if you would like to check out some of my books, I have two novels, More Than Words Can Say and Falling For You, and one nonfiction book titled Hashtag Believe Damn It, 10 Principles for Attracting and Creating the Life You Crave, all available through Amazon. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I will be here weekly, Mondays and Thursdays. On last week's video, I shared with you that I will be sharing Monday videos will be writing, Thursday videos will be motivational videos. I have switched those around and on Mondays will be motivation and Thursday will be writing. That's it, you guys. Until next time, stay safe.